Yeah, it says, uh, yeah, there's a companion which helpeth his friend for the belly and taketh up the buckler against the enemy. Mm -hmm. Just like it said, there's a companion which helpeth his friend for the belly. He only gonna help his friend if he could benefit off his friend. You got a lot of brothers in the truth like that. They, they, they go and ask a brother for help to benefit off of him when knowing he can't ask nobody else for help because they know how he is. See what I'm saying? That, that, that makes you want to take a look at yourself like, damn, why? That, that means there's something fucked up about me and can't nobody else help me but this brother right here, here and there's other brothers in the camp with me. Why is it, you know, why is it I can only ask this brother not the brothers in my camp? Because you done probably fucked them over so many times. They tired of your shit. Yeah, niggas are showing you, man. You know? They just don't say nothing about it. And man, it's, hey, niggas are showing you, man. Hey, hey, but you know what, man? That's that's why, I, that's why, uh, uh, um, uh, what Spinzo said, I got trust issues. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got trust issues, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, Jake, Jake, man, got trust issues, man. So that's why we supposed to be pure in the spirit, man. Uh -huh. We dealing with brothers, man. They supposed to see that pureness, man, and be like, yeah, these brothers, man. I like the brothers, man. My brothers, man. I'm some good brothers, man. They genuine. That's what you see that you're genuine. You know? Last verse. It said, Forget not thy friend in thy mind, mm -hmm. and be not unmindful of him in thy riches. Yeah, man. Hey, you know what, man? And you know what? A lot of people, man, when you, hey, you be like, I'm struggling. I'm telling you, you know, first of all, you could be a brother that, that helps everybody out, man, if you got it, man. Hey man, that's a, that's what kind of spirit I have, man. If I see a brother that needs something, man, I'm gonna help him out, man. And I'm not he, I'm not gonna wait till you gotta fucking come groveling and asking. If I see if you if I if I'm looking at you in my eyes and I'm with you all the time, you know what I'm saying? You you, you look for things like that, man. You look right. for things like that, that a brother that may need something, you know. And you do go out your way to help him, man. That's how I was raised, man. Cause you know what? The reason why I'm like that because when I grew up, I didn't have shit, man. I ain't never have shit, man. We grew up half the half the time we was growing up, man. Our fucking electricity was off, you know. You know, eating fucking tuna out of can. You know, eating, you know. Hey, man, we have a hard life, man. And, and, and you know, you get older and you, the Lord blesses you, man. Those people tend to be more decent people. Right. You know? Right, man. I, hey, man, I don't, I don't care about fucking having the greatest pair, next pair of shoes, man. I ain't had them motherfuckers when I was little. So I, I wasn't raised like that, man. Right. Why you got them uncomfortable ass shoes, Jordans, man? You should be uncomfortable as hell, man. And you know they don't last you two months. You know why people buy so many pairs? Because they don't last long. Those are the most overrated, overpaid shoes in the world with some goddamn joys. I got, I got a pair of sketches on right now that's more comfortable than any pair of Jordans you can buy. Man. Niggas are fucking, man, look. Hey, hey, you still read? No, uh, Can you get Leviticus 19? Uh, let's start at verse 13. That's why people have that mentality. You grow up and get over on people, man, because they be giving too much shit, man. Coddled by their parents and shit, you know? I don't, that's why I try not to do that with my son. I don't, want my, I don't want my son to be like me. I don't want him to grow up looking on the internet, waiting for the next pair of Jordans to come out. Go outside and play, nigga. Right. Shit. Oh, yeah. They come out tomorrow, and then you wake up at six, man. These fucking parents don't have no fucking brains, man. You know, you'll wake up at fucking three in the morning to go get this little nigga a pair of shoes, man. Mm -hmm. And be standing in line, man. Some people tailgate all fucking night, man, sleeping in tents for a fucking pair of shoes, man. Hey, that shit is making me mad just thinking about it, man. For a fucking pair of shoes, you will stand in a line that's fucking two miles long, man. Yep. Pay fifty extra dollars to order them. Ahead of time, so you can walk past everybody. 
You don't wonder why people are getting shot for them motherfuckers, man. And you know what Michael Jordan said? Michael Jordan don't give a fuck about you niggas, man. Mm -hmm. that, nigga said, that, nigga, that nigga said, this is not my problem when people are getting shot for Jordans. Sure said it, man. That's what he said, man. Go oh, ahead, yeah, bro. Niggas, the mentality of niggas, and they bullshit, man. Leviticus 19 and 13. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, man. In any way, any kind of fucking way, man. Right. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, man. That's right. For your own fucking gain, man. You're going to shit on somebody because you need something. We all need something. We all fucked up and poor, man. What makes you better than me, man? Well, what makes you better than the, 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 the other brother you're trying to defraud, man? We all fucked up in the same condition. Right. It says, Thou should not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. Neither rob him, man. Rob him, man. You know, there's different ways of robbing people. You ain't always got to use a gun. Man. Right. You can steal. You know, you can manipulate money out of people. That's robbing people, man. Anytime you take money from somebody and you don't consider his family, you don't consider the shit he's going through, but are you just all into your personal game? Hey, man, the scriptures say, uh, 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 People that think godliness is game from such turn away, man. Right. Right. Hey, man, some people think like that, man. Yeah, look at the, uh, the punk ass nigga Crefo Dollar. He thinking, he telling, he, well, he's lying to the congregation, manipulating their mind into believing that what? He's being blessed by the Lord with these helicopters and million dollar mansions and. All this uh, Benzes and Rolls Royces because he claims he's doing the work of the Lord. No, that's that's defraud. He's robbing these people, man. That's why the Lord gonna kill his punk ass. This, this dumb nigga, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead, bro. This fucking nigga, man. I hate that nigga, man. Me too, this nigga man. Nigga Creflo Dollar said, yeah, I, I, I want a jet because I gotta go uh, preach the truth on different parts of the world. He said, if I found out that it's a, there may be some people on Mars somewhere then I got, I, 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 I wouldn't mind pressing y'all for a billion dollars to get a spacecraft and go out there. Nigga, you a fucking nigga, man. That's right. You ain't giving a fuck about teaching nobody on no another planet, man. You teaching lies, man. Right. You don't even teach the whole Bible, man. Fuck out of here, man. You niggas, man. Hey, that's, Jake will utterly supplant, man. Will utterly supplant. Completely, man. We'll supplant. Go ahead. It says, The wages of him that is hired should not abide with thee all night until the morning. Yeah, man. You know, the wages of him is like when you like when you ask a brother to do a certain job for you and tell him, well, I'm going to pay you such and such. You're supposed to get that money as man before sundown. Right. Man, this, man, bro, we ain't never supposed to be fucking broke, man. We're supposed to get paid daily, man. You gotta wait two fucking weeks for a little small ass minute check, and then a motherfucker expects you to be happy, man. Hell, we didn't work. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. We didn't work like a fucking dog all fucking week, man. Two weeks. Then when you get your check, well, working up to the time when you get your check, bills is just steady pile going up and up and That's up. That's right. <laughs> If you would pay your energy bill daily, it wouldn't be $150, $200, $300, man. Right. You pay a couple dollars a day, man. And then on top of that, they make you wait two weeks for you to get your check, and then they tax the shit out of you, man. Right. You had something to say, bro? I was just going to say, we seen it. Hell, we personally seen it in the truth to ourselves. We're not going to mention no names or nothing like that, but we've seen it to where even their family had them working for them. They didn't get paid by a certain individual, but then they do the work for this certain family member, and he don't pay them until the job is done. What kind of shit is that? 
That's robbery and usury, man. Yeah, man. On top of you, once you leave there, then you got to go to your regular job. But you can't hardly go to your regular job because you beat down from working with, with your family member who's robbing you. Running game on you. Yeah, you see man. what I'm saying? Working, working you like a dog. Bro. Right. They don't, give a, they don't give a fuck how much pain you in, man. Right. They just fucking work you, man. But we seen it, man. We, we had a brother in Gary. We're not going to mention no name. Who was involved in the car wreck. Parent really didn't give a fuck because he only had one day to really rest. And the next day, he was working for the family member after he done been in a car wreck. Still going through trauma. You get what I'm saying? We hate to see shit like that with you niggas, man. You don't give a fuck about your own family member unless, like the scripture said, you could benefit from the shit. That's why we can't wait till the Lord come back and kill you motherfuckers, man. Man, you two thirds, man. You, you, you gotta go. You, hey, man, you get under my skin just as much as he saw, man. That's right, man. That's right. And worse, because I gotta go and walk out the neighborhood and see your ass. You impress me daily, man. That's right. You walk outside and see a Jake and he mean mugging you like you just killed his fucking mother. You can't even look at a nigga too long, man. Joe King. Try that shit if you want to. A nigga be like, what the fuck you looking at, nigga? Do I know you? Right. That's some, some, some slick ass shit to say, man. No, nigga, I was looking at that car that's about to hit your ass. Boom. That's right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, hey, man, the Lord, man, you're going to start sending swift judgment. Man. Right, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? On that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was a little bit more than that. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Hey, man, Jake, man, we're utterly surprised, man. <laughs> That's our people, man. But you know what, man? Like, you're supposed to. It's supposed to be a change in you when you're in the truth, man. You know, you're supposed to. You even supposed to see it, man. You know, you can't you can't take that old man into into a chariot, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, Leviticus 19 and 14, Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, mm -hmm. but shall fear thy God, I am the Lord. Yeah, man, Nate, putting a stumbling, all you other camps, that's, that's not teaching the name of the Lord and the right, right doctrine, you putting a stumbling block before your neighbor. Go ahead. It says, You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, mm -hmm. thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the persons of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Now, in righteousness, man. You know, people, when, when, when Jake judges people, they don't consider the fact that they fucked up too. And just go all in, man. You know? Right. In righteousness, according to the scriptures, so you judge your neighbor. You know, before you do everything, you're supposed to think on the think on the scriptures, the holy scriptures, man. That's right. <coughs> it says, "Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer." As a talebearer <laughs> among thy people. And not by. Uh, 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 you should not go uh, uh, up and down as a, as a talebearer element. <laughs> you know, you should not go as a talebearer. Hey. Elder McCoy said. Right. What the fuck, I wasn't there. I didn't witness it. I don't know what he said. <clears throat> That's between you, him, and y'all about some y'all What the right. fuck you on YouTube telling that shit about, man? Because you a fucking tailbearer, man. <clears throat> and it says, uh, Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Hey, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, man. Because a lot of people do that fucking shit, man. Certain brothers come around you. Acting funny and shit, man. Right. You're not supposed to be doing that shit, man. Acting funny, man. Treating the brother funny, man. Because you feeling some type of way, man. It says, Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. 
there, man, not suffer sin upon him, man. You know? But see, that neighbor, we got, we got to correct this. This neighbor that is talking about is your brother in the truth. Yeah. Not some wicked nigga that fell out the truth or some wicked two-third nigga in the world. No, this is talking about your brother in the truth. You see what I'm saying? Because, why? Because he's, he's your brother. And he's doing, and he's righteous. You don't do this to some wicked nigga. No, a wicked nigga, you suppose, you supposed to hate him and suffer sin upon him. Oh, uh, it says, uh, it says, uh, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. See, and what, it, what that's talking about is nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. That's only, only talking about your brothers in the truth, man. Not some wicked two-third nigga, man. Because if that's the case, then why would the Lord come back and kill the two-thirds of our people then. See what I'm saying? That's only talking about what? Your neighbors and brothers in the truth. Not everybody in the world. Because even the Lord don't love everybody in the world. If that was the case, that would be a contradiction to the scriptures. And the, and the Bible don't contradict itself. The words of the Lord are faithful and true and pure. You got anything, bro? No, I'm not. Okay. Hey, with that, hey, this was a wonderful lesson, man. You know, I hope you brothers take heed to this lesson, man. And, you know, trim your lamps. Yeah, there you go. I was just finna say and examine yourself, see? Yeah. Brothers said trim your lamps, you know? <laughs> examine yourself, man, for real. If any of you brothers out there got any faults against other brothers, go to their brother and confess your faults and clear the air. You brothers out there, quit scheming on other brothers to try and benefit off of them. To, to cover your bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Like when you when you know you done did something in the world and you done fucked up, admit it instead of going to a brother trying to scheme to get over to try and cover your tracks of that bullshit you did. You may get over on the brother, but you're not getting over on the Lord, man. You how about shit? I mean, I was shot to see that bullshit. Yeah. So you brothers out there, hey, try and, try and walk this straight and narrow path. Get rid of that old man, man, and focus on the truth and be sincere about it and actually love your brother, actually, with sincerity. Not saying I love my brother, but then, damn, uh, I need some money. Uh, hey, bro, I need uh, $50 or so, because uh, tomorrow I got to go see the probation. If I don't have, I'm going to be locked up. That's bullshit, man. You just want the money, get your goddamn T-shirt, man. You see what I'm saying? Be honest about the shit, man, for yeah. real. Hey, with that, all praise to you. How about shooting out with shot? Double honors to the other apostle, Great Millstone. Much love to all your brothers out there. Death to America. Kwam Yasha Allah. Kwam Bakar. Hey, Shalom. And the water for the brother coming down from Gary today. <laughs> <laughs>